Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Serie A and Eredivisie. Team of the Season is coming out today. We need to take a look at the market and talk through some things that we can do to make some coins during the lightning rounds today and just throughout this Friday and into the weekend on FIFA Ultimate Team, especially um, regarding the new Team of the Season cards that are going to be coming out and everything with the emphasis around the Serie A. Now, I'm recording this video, obviously, before Serie A Tot is coming out, um, but we know what's coming and we know kind of the pattern of what's been happening the past couple of weeks, so that's why I want to take a look back at some of those patterns as well as look at some cards from the Serie A and from the Eredivisie that I think have a good shot to uh, go up. Now, we talked about this yesterday a little bit in the video, talking about in my video yesterday, talking about Serie A Team of the Season cards um, that either get a TOTS or don't get a team this season. And a lot of them just generally rise because people use the TOTS cards, they go out, they make teams with these cards, they play with them, they have fun with them. We saw it a lot this week with some of the uh, La Liga cards that I have actually here on my transfer list. You see some of these cards have risen up a decent amount in price that I have been able to flip and get some decent money for um, because of the rising prices throughout the week of when that league is in team of the season. So this week with the Serie A, I first want to talk about how to make some coins during lightning rounds, but we got to start before that. Before the lightning rounds come out, when you're watching this video right now, if it is before the lightning rounds that are coming out, you have a chance to pick up on some of the panic selling of these cards. Now, obviously I have talked about this in my video yesterday, but this is the prime time for the panic. A couple of hours before the team of the season actually comes out. So make yourself a concept squad really quick with some cards like this, some very meta, usable, popular Serie A players, and just be watching their price. You know, today we got the new foot swaps. So that's affecting this Alexandros card's price. Obviously, he requires a decent amount of foot swaps, so he's not going to be attainable right away. I do think he's going to get a team of the season card. It's going to blow this card out of the water, and everybody's going to be thinking that it's crazy, but it's going to be a very, very, very expensive card with him being Brazilian and Juventus. Um, you're going to see this headliner card maybe take a hit in price as people see he gets a TOTS card. You see this card take a hit in price, but it's going to rebound as people who panic sold that card realize that the team of the season is way too expensive and it's so rare on the market right away when it comes out into the game that they can't buy it that they're gonna go back and buy that headliner card because of the weekend leak. And that is the most important thing when you're thinking about buying cards before team of the season. If you see some panic selling on any type of, of special card, informed stuff like that, you wanna make sure that it is weekend league usable and playable uh, because everybody's gonna be buying teams back to play the weekend league after that TOTS hype, the 6 p.m. UK drop happens. So that's a really important point if you're buying those um, special cards in the hype like we talked about in yesterday's video. Check that out if you haven't. I know I've mentioned it a couple times, um, but make sure they are those meta usable weekend league players. Now, I want to focus more on the lightning rounds uh, and how to make some coins off of that because there are a lot of ways to make coins during lightning rounds when those packs do come onto the market. Obviously, everybody's attention is turned to the new team of the season players, so that opens up a very, very wide opportunity to make some coins in other areas of the market as people are wanting to see how much these cards are when they come onto the market and how much they are coming onto the market, like their pack weight. So we're not going to focus on those cards. If you want to make some coins, this is a very, very easy way to do it. Now, obviously, we know that the upgrade SBCs that have been coming out into the store have been, um, they've been requiring rare gold cards from that specific league that is out. So obviously this week, La Liga 81 plus double guaranteed. You need 11 rare La Liga Santander players. So this next week, Serie A, what's gonna, what are you gonna need? You're gonna need 11 rare Serie A players. Now, a lot of people have already been bidding up these cards and these prices have gone up a, a bit, but you see the La Liga cards, now that we're almost done with that SBC, it's Thursday, the La Liga team this season is about to go out of packs. A lot of those La Liga rares are like 2,000 coins. This is just one that comes to mind because I've been buying him to do the 80, the 81 plus SBC. He's up here at 1,900 coins for this 80 rated goalkeeper. That's going to happen to all the rares for Syria next week as well. And you're going to have Ronaldo. And if you know if they boost some of these guys in this team this season, um, those cards could really rise a lot. So just going to go gold. We're going to go Serie A, and we're going to go minimum price 650, max price probably 950. If you can get these cards under a thousand coins, if you're a low budget guy 
get on the bids during lightning rounds and get sniping as well. Don't be afraid to pay to pay 800, 900, under a thousand for some of these cards because look, people are already bidding these up so high because they want to stock their club with them and get ready to do these packs. So you can either stock them in your club, even go and assigned on them if you if you want to, to be able to do a lot of upgrade packs when those come out. Or you can stock them in your club, put them on your transfer list, and sell them for a profit later in the week. If you're a low coin guy, this is a great way to double your coins every week. Buy some rare cards from the league that is in Team of the Season and sell them after the upgrade SBC comes out, like one or two days after when those prices really start to rise. That's a really easy way to make coins if you're a low budget guy. The next way to make coins during lightning rounds is we're going to look at, obviously, some of these higher rated golds. I'm going to move this over for you guys so you can actually see what's going on here. Um, but a lot of these cards get packed and packed and packed during the team of the season and there's a lot of supply of these cards coming onto the market right away and they're very important for SBCs throughout the, the later of the week um, as people go and do the guaranteed SBCs that require higher rated 85, 86 rated squads with a TOTS card and as they you know complete icon SBCs throughout the week as well. So you can see right here this Montage card went to a low of 17,000 coins on Sunday during La Liga TOTS bumped right back up to 18, 19,000 coins as more SBCs came out during the week. People are doing the upgrade packs, they're crafting their icons, and this is a very good investment to stock your club with. Um, I just deleted the page. Let's go back to it. Cheapest players by rating. Um, during the lightning rounds, it's a great time to stock your club and to stock up on some of these high rated gold cards. Get them on bid as well. An hour after that first lightning round comes around, usually about 2 p.m. my time, 7 p.m. UK, you have all the people that, that got packed cards right away. Maybe they listed too high. You have all the people reselling those cards kind of at like the, the 7 p.m. to 7.10 p.m. time frame, 2 p.m. Eastern to 2.10 p.m. in that time frame. And you also have all the bids, people that just pack a card when they're doing lightning rounds. If they pack the card, they list it up for open bid. That's a great time to get cheap prices on the market because everybody's going to be focused on the new team of the season cards. They're not going to be focused on stocking their club with some high rated gold. So again, focus on high rated golds. I'm going to say, first of all, focus on high rated golds from the Serie A uh, because those cards are going to be required if they're not in team of the season. Like let's say Perisic doesn't get a team of the season card. Watch his left mid card. If you see any of these 86s, the buy ranges for these cards, 86 rated cards, I'm going to say around 15 to 16K. Uh, 85s, you're looking for like 9,000 coins. 87s, you're looking for 20K flat. 88s, you're looking for under 30K or right around 30K for most of them. And the 89s, you're looking to get under 40,000 coins uh, for those cards as well. But really focus on the 85s, the 86s, and the 87s as well because most of the SBCs that they've been putting out recently in the store have been... Um, somewhere between an 84 and an 86 rating. So that's going to cover the basis for a lot of those cards. You know, like this this uh, Godin SBC, you have an 80, you have some 87 ratings in here, uh, but also some 83s and 84s. And I think Casemiro requires a couple 84s and maybe an 85. Yeah, 185 right there. So that's not too bad. That's a usual, like a, that's a usual Tots Moments SBC. And as you can tell from these requirements, you need uh, La Liga players, one for there. Brazil and Real Madrid, so La Liga, um, you're going to need some Serie A players coming up in the next week. I know it's not the most glamorous way to invest and make coins during team of the season uh, lightning rounds, but that is a very simple and a very fail-safe and foolproof way to make coins during that time is to stock up on your SBC requirements. Even look at the current team of the week. I have not looked at the team of the week because um, usually these team of the weeks kind of at the end of the year aren't the best. And I don't really see too many good investments when we look at this team of the week. Um, this Renato Augusto card, that could be a decent investment. Watch him during lining rounds. But make sure you stock up on your discard informs because a lot of people are doing these Icon SBCs right now. And you need informs in some of the Icon SBCs. You don't really need a rating for some of the lower ones. But this Renato Augusto, if you see him during lightning rounds, like 20,000 coins, 22, 23K, that's a definite buy. Um, for an 84 rated card. So watch the team of the week, watch the high rated golds. Those are going to be good pickups. And I want to look at one more thing. This is kind of more of a high budget thing on the market. 
Um, this is something that I like to do a ton during lightning rounds. I, there's not a lot of people that do this, especially now, later in the year. We're gonna look at icons. First off, we're gonna look at the icon floor. Like I said, a lot of people are doing icon SBCs right now because there's a lot of coins on the game and people are just having fun at the end of the game. They're getting all these coins from rewards they're just getting on the game, doing icon SBCs, and you need icons, excuse me, to complete those SBCs. So right now you see the baby icon floor at about 318,000 coins. That is up recently over the last couple of weeks as people have continued to complete icon SBCs. Watch this icon floor. You can honestly sit here. If during lightning rounds, if this is something you want to do, sit here during lightning rounds and you know they're going for about 318, you could probably expect that floor to drop down to around 300,000 coins or so. Maybe drop 15 to 20k during lightning rounds. Maybe you just sit here and snipe for 280. Maybe you just sit here and snipe for a couple minutes. See if you can pick one up and also check on bid. Watch these icons go on bid and there's going to be a lot of these baby icons that are packed during that lightning round period, you're gonna have a chance to pick up some of those for cheap if you're wanting to do an SBC. Uh, but those those prices are gonna continue to go up. You know, right now it's 320K. I bet next week during the week, it's gonna be 330 to 340, uh, if I would imagine, because more and more people are doing SBCs um, with the coins that they get from these packs. So don't be afraid to look at some of these prices and to get on the icon uh, snipes, as well as if you're even a more high budget trader, this is something that I I love to do. This is what I mentioned before, what I love to do during lightning rounds. Set this to, set yourself a little bit of a setup like this, and it works almost either way. You don't have to have 9 million coins to do this. Right now I have 5 million coins, and you can see this is the, the um, filter that I'm working with. So we're gonna go League Icons, Chemistry Style Basic, Max Price, you're gonna go all the way up to 15 million so that you can refresh the page every time you search. Minimum Price, Find something that works. You know what? Maybe I will go with I'll go with six million because I only have 5.4 million coins liquid right now. But basically, what we're doing here is we're setting up a filter to filter out a lot of those um, discard level icons. But we want to include a lot of the icons that we can afford and possibly snipe uh, because a lot of times people pack icons during rewards. They're fresh icons just getting packed, especially with the introduction of icon moments. You see this. Um, you're getting a lot of fresh icons that are coming onto the market and people just list them for too cheap sometimes. It's almost like you're watching the high rated golds during lightning rounds for people to undercut them. You know, you pack an 87 rated card, you list it for 19K, it, you really should be able to sell it for 24 or something like that. It's the same thing with the icons. It's not obviously as common to see these cards listed up during lightning rounds, but let me tell you, there are so many icons that get listed up during lightning rounds. Um, and this is a really good filter to kind of monitor that 59th minute of icons. Basically, all you need to do is sit back here. You, you kind of have to know your icon prices though, that's one thing, but you can have footbin at your side and ready. Let's say I'm here, this bird camp pops up on the 59th minute uh, for 900,000 coins flat. And you look and you compare price and you see that his next cheapest is a million coins. You run over to footbin really quick and you type in bird camp. Is this a deal? You look at Footbin, Bird Camp, 999K. You look at his graph, you see, okay, a Bird Camp, a fresh one at 900K flat, that is a deal. You can pick it up and you can sell it later in the evening when the market flies up um, after the lightning rounds and after the hype has settled down and people buy their weekend league teams back. So that's one way that you can make coins on a higher budget, but the whole entire value of this whether you're buying cards in the panic selling before tots, whether you're stocking up on the golds, or whether you're messing around with icons, um, you can make a lot of coins during the lightning rounds just because there's so much going on. There's panic selling, there's cards being packed, there's fresh icons coming onto the market, and of course there's team of the season cards. You're gonna have an opportunity to make coins on team of the season cards that have price range uh, problems. So we're gonna look at the La Liga team of the season right here. I wasn't very active last Friday when this came out, but I know there were icon or there were not icons. There were team of the season cards that were extinct because their price ranges weren't updated correctly. Um, I think Usman Dembele was one of them. If you go and, right at the start of the game or right at the start of the drop when these tots cards do come out onto the market, and you see, let's say tomorrow somebody somebody who's pretty packable but is very OP. Let's say they re-release. Um, no, not re-release. Let's say they release a team of the season nine golden card. 
He's got juiced stats. He's like club 80, some 90 stats. And right away, you see that that card's price cap is somewhere around a million coins. Let's say maybe the, the price cap is 800k for Tots 9 Golan. And they really boost this card. He's got a sick card. He's got insane stats. Let's say that happens. Well, you might realize his card is getting insta-bought right away, and you look at that card and you know Nyingolan is hype. He's an OP player in this game, very good, and um, he's meta. So that's the same thing, OP and meta. I just said the same thing. But a card like that with Nyingolan, I mean, that card's probably worth right around a million coins or over that first day in the hype, especially he's very linkable and people like to use his card. Um, but... If his price range, let's say, is like 600k or something way too stupid cheap, you can get on the snipes. It's risky. It's very risky. But you can wait for that price range update to come and then list those cards when the price range update happens and make some coins on that. I know there was people that made a lot of coins off of a bombing that first week um, because of his price range was very low. It got updated and uh, he just his price just kept going higher. Now, obviously, these Serie A cards aren't going to have the same type of hype as Premier League did. Neither will the Eredivisie cards. Um, but there's going to be a lot of hype around those cards. I think this is going to be a good mix for Serie A and Eredivisie. You have some hype players from the Eredivisie this year with all the Champions League hype going around Ajax and all the cards um, like Tagliafico got a tots, um, you know, the Delict and stuff like that so keep an eye on a lot of the stuff that's going to happen today and you're going to be able to make coins during lightning rounds because ultimately what's happening is people are opening packs coins are coming onto the market and um, with those coins people are going to go do sbcs they're going to go buy players they're going to go push the market up um, in the hours after those lightning rounds do come out so it's going to be a great way to make coins tomorrow by the panic selling cards um, just honestly make yourself a concept squad like I talked about earlier that's a great way to filter out those cards stock your clubs with the rare golds I would honestly recommend everybody do that um, whatever budget you're on stock your club with some rare golds from the Serie A for less than a thousand coins maybe 800 to 900 coins to get ready for the uh, le for the upgrade SBCs later in the week and of course stock your club with the high rated look at the 85s through the 88s in that price range um, and we will be looking for the rebound after all the lightning rounds do come out during team of the season. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the photo accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.